When we think of investing, we usually think of something like this, or this. Today, the Atlantic Rethink and Nuveen have brought together experts, financial advisors, and investors to talk about a different kind of investment, like this eco-friendly vineyard, or this bridge that connects hundreds of thousands of passengers a day. Investments that make money, but also do good. Let's call this film Good Returns, a story about responsible investing. Responsible investing goes by many, many terms. SRI. Green, values-based. Impact investing. ESG. It's the alphabet soup that we have to deal with. <laughs> but for real, what is it? It's a way to invest, but using your moral compass and your values. When I first heard about responsible investing, I was definitely skeptical. Almost sounds like an oxymoron. <laughs> there are a number of myths around responsible investing. It's for wimps, progressive, millennials, people who are not financially savvy, tree-hugging stuff. It's for people who don't care about their return. Let's just set everyone straight. This is capitalism. This is for anyone who wants to make money. Responsible investments have the edge in most cases, especially for the long-term investors. There's no better way to be comfortable with your investment program than if you view it as an extension of your values. If we could ensure that our investments could provide the same degree of return and completely align with our causes, that's something we'd sign up for in a heartbeat. It sounds like a unicorn a little bit, <laughs> so I'm a little bit skeptical, but also intrigued. <laughs> so let's dive into it. I think we definitely focus on clean water and water conservation projects. Water? Why? There's not enough of it, and it's all in the wrong place. Like at the Oasis Vineyard in Central California, where water is, well, scarce. The vineyard encompasses 1,800 acres and is comprised of 12 different grape varietals. There are lots of complexities involved in growing grapes. You're playing chess against Mother Nature to create something that's magic in a bottle. When we acquired the Oasis Vineyard, the water conveyance system had grown antiquated. The canals and reservoirs were losing thousands of gallons of water a week at a cost of hundreds of thousands of dollars something had to be done. Like a capital investment to line the entire irrigation system. By lining the canals and reservoirs, we're saving thousands and thousands of gallons on a weekly basis. Our projected return on the investment in the lining is 10 times cost. Impressive. So it makes sense that in a recent study from Nuveen, 52% of investors would, returns being equal, likely put all of their holdings in a responsible investing portfolio. 92% of millennials feel the same way. And yet financial advisors are recommending even fewer responsible investments than they were a year ago. That's because investors have to completely restructure their portfolios, right? That's actually incorrect. Responsible investment portfolios are built out of the exact same building blocks that any financial advisor would use. Stocks, bonds. Mutual funds, exchange-traded funds. From a pure sector standpoint, it's the same. So if I cared about my city, I could invest in something like municipal bonds. Enter this drawbridge known as Old Lefty. I think you might have made that up. I did. It's most commonly referred to as the Lefty O'Doul Bridge. Its architect went on to design the Golden Gate Bridge after this was finished back in 1933. We need to replace some of the members that have corroded and the bridge decks, both for pedestrians and for vehicles, will be replaced as well. This is clearly an important piece of infrastructure for the city of San Francisco. We have a baseball team which operates just to the north, a basketball team about to come in and operate to the south, lots of business, a key hospital in the area. I wish I could put a price on how valuable this bridge is to the local community and to the city itself, but it's really incalculable. Incalculable, huh? Any way to measure that? Everything is built on data and sets of big data. What we're trying to do is understand how environmental, social, and governance data points impact the companies that our clients own in their portfolios. I'd love to see updates on those things just as much as I would love to see updates on our investment performances. Now we can actually dig in, dive in, and figure out, is this investment actually having a positive impact? And guess what? The results are there, the evidence is there, and the outcomes are absolutely there as well. Outcomes like emissions reductions through green buildings, more jobs, more public green space, and fewer cars on the road. This will be the way of the future of investing. It's exciting for us. It's, I'm ready to dig in and learn more. Our thoughts exactly. <laughs>